Good evening, friends. It's Monday. It's the last full day of our vacation. Kind of sad about that. I've really enjoyed my time off. So I thought I'd give you a quick family update before I get to the recipe. Uh, Friday, Madison came home. As you know, she graduated last Friday. So we had her graduation on Friday. Then Sunday, Mason played his last college baseball game with his team. And then um, fast forward to Saturday, Mason graduated. And his program is a two-year program at his college. It's uh, Wildlife Management Resources. They're trying to get the other two. So hopefully they'll get that uh, before the um, fall and he can go back there and finish up his bachelor's because he just loves the school. So they've got it in the works. We just don't know when it's going to be set in stone. So anyway, Friday I hurt my back somehow. I don't know how. I have suffered. So uh, really struggled at Mason's graduation and I made it through because you know I wasn't going to miss that. Um, today my friend, he's a chiropractor, his office is next door to our pizza shop. I texted him last night and I said, can you see me? So he worked on me today. I've got a back brace I have to wear and all that good stuff. So I'm kind of a mess today. So this is what, this was a great recipe to fix today. This is something that I grew up eating a lot as a child. I think probably because it was easy and it was inexpensive. So my dad fixed it a lot. And then as he got older, it was a comfort food to him. So he fixed it a lot when he wasn't feeling good. So we always knew when dad made this, he wasn't feeling good. So this is what we call, my people call goulash. Now I know it's not the traditional goulash, because it's not made with chunks of meat, but um, some people call it Johnny Marzetti. But for us, it was always goulash. So I'm making Joe's, my dad's uh, famous goulash. It's one of Mason's favorites. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Um, so and like you can change it up any way that you would like. So to begin with, I just boiled 16 ounces of elbow macaroni. It's back here, I'm gonna drain that in a few minutes. And in my electric skillet here, I've got two pounds of ground beef and onion. Now, my people, when I say my people, Appalachia people, my family, they also make um, macaroni and tomatoes. So it's kind of a take on this, but dad always did it a little bit different. So macaroni and tomatoes, if you're familiar with that and maybe you're not, it was just cooked macaroni, canned or fresh tomatoes, salt, pepper, and sugar. That was it. So it's kind of a, a take on that a little bit. So to the ground beef, I've got one can, now you could use fresh, one can of diced tomatoes drained, okay? It's just a simple, simple recipe. And then one can, one jar can of your favorite spaghetti sauce. Now if you wanted to, you could make it your own, but this is just a fast weeknight comfort food this doesn't take a lot of time. We're just gonna stir that right in with the ground beef. And I've got some onion in there. I don't know if I said that. Onion's optional, of course. And I've just got my little um, electric skillet here on simmer. Okay, I'll get that all incorporated. And then I'm gonna hobble over here and give me a little bit of water for this a jar to get it out, the rest of the sauce out. Maddie and I went Friday to the Appalachian Museum, which is just right up the road from us, and they have um, hiking trails. And um, the trails were closed. We went kind of late, later on in the evening. And um, I tripped over like a little branch that they had cut off, but left about four or five inches. I didn't see it, I tripped, and I think that's how I pulled my back. It's not fun being old, is it? Okay, so that's the sauce. That's it really for it. Now I'm gonna taste it. Um, sometimes I'll add extra seasoning, like Italian seasoning. It just depends on what kind of spaghetti sauce I used. So let me grab a fork here. Actually, I'm just gonna grab a spoon. Go. So my baby boy's home. Hmm. He's got all his room unpacked. Um, 
He's got a load of dry, a clothes in the dryer now. Some of his towels from college. So we're getting there. Maddie went back home. She went back home today. She's packing her apartment. Her lease is up in June, so she'll be up there till then. Little sugar. Now this is something that my family's always done. When there's a tomato sauce, we add sugar to cut down on the acidity. Something else I'm gonna tell you about when my son eats this, he stinks. He has horrible gas. I don't know why. So I'm gonna add a little bit of baking soda. We're gonna experiment and we're gonna see if this will cut down on Mr. Farty McPants. Won't be able to taste it. Just gonna mix that right in. Right into the sauce. That'll help with some of the acidity in the sauce also. Okay. Good. Now I'm just gonna let this go and simmer. I'm gonna drain my macaroni and then we'll be back to finish it off. Okay, friends, we're back. I let that, I got that macaroni drained here and I let this sauce cook down. And while I was letting it cook a little bit, I added a little bit of Italian seasoning, a little bit of granulated garlic. Of course, that's personal choice. So with my back, I'm not gonna be able to pour, pick this up and pour it in. So I'm gonna just uh, ladle it in until I get it down a little bit smaller, then I should be able to pick it up. It's been a real nuisance not being able to move well. I'm not used to uh, sitting still. And then when the back hurts, you can't sit for very long, you can't stand for very long. Marvin, you can't have goulash. Cats want goulash, evidently. I'm sure he would eat it. He loves meat. Okay, I think I can pick this up now. Yeah, I got it. All right. So we're gonna mix that all together. Move that out of the way. This together. That pan's a little heavy. May have to have Mason come help me. All right, so we're just gonna mix those noodles and that hamburger sauce mixture together. This right here is a big bowl of my youth. We ate this a lot. No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, I didn't like it. I don't, I didn't like pasta when I was little. I know it's crazy. I just probably within the last year started enjoying pasta. I don't know why. The kids and Brock love it. So I would fix it for them and I would eat something else. All right, so this is it. I'm gonna give it a taste. Perfect. We eat it with bread and butter and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and that's it for the goulash. Look at that, Joe's famous goulash. I'm going to put on the stove. Keep it warm. I'm going to show you a quick salad I'm going to do today. So I've just got a bag of um, salad mix. And so we eat a lot of salad here and I like to change it up. Something different. I haven't fixed this one for a while. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to do about a fourth of a cup to start. I've got a half cup measuring cup, but I think that's going to be too much. So I'm going to start with a fourth of a cup. This is just Italian dressing. Any Italian dressing will work. And then I like to add some fresh pepper in there. And then I like to add about a, ta about a teaspoon. Now let's, there it is, a teaspoon of sugar. That's optional. I This is a, like a sweeter dressing that I like to make, okay? And then I'm just gonna stir it up. I'm gonna see how much I need. Might need to make a little bit more. It doesn't take much with an oil-based sauce or dressing to cover the lettuce. Okay, so there we go. Looks like it's gonna be good. Looks like that fourth a cup is gonna be great. 
And then I like to come in and give it a taste. Always taste your food. Perfect. That's perfect. I like to come in with a little bit of Parmesan cheese right on top. Then you can add a little bit more black pepper if you'd like. It's great with croutons, great without. There you go, quick and simple salad. Something different to have with that goulash. And there you have it. I've got a hungry boy I'm gonna feed and I'm going to sit down and get off my back. And once again, it's been great hanging out with you friends here at Chris's Country Kitchen. Hope you make Joe's goulash. Hope you enjoyed as much as my family does. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.